everyone and welcome to Creative Creative Creations. Thank you for coming back to this channel. Uh, it's spring over here and I thought Mother Nature is so beautiful right now. Flowers, the trees, and I mean, you just appreciate it from a distance and I thought, what is in my house that reminds me, you know, that can bring me closer to what is just out there. So I went into my stash and um, looked for some fabrics and I found this nice, lovely, pink, flowery fabric. It's a cotton fabric. And also this one, I bought them years ago uh, when I was learning quilting, but I've just put them away. So I thought, yep, let me do some book cover something that is going to lift my spirits up yeah so here we are with my very old bible i love this bible you know all books they're beautiful the way they are because they tell a lot of history but it is falling apart so i thought what could i do to rescue this bible I have other Bibles that I'm using, but because this one is in a simplified today's English version, I really, really like it, especially for my kids. I bought this diary for my daughter earlier this year. It's just a simple, nice, lovely baby pink diary. I thought, why not put some statement on it and uh, see how that turns out. You will need your measuring tools, things like your scissors, your rulers, your marker. And I've decided to personalize it. You will need your embroidery floss and your embroidery needle, some pinking shears, a white fabric, and custom made it for both me and my daughter. I then went ahead and I measured my Bible. You just cut around like this and you measure this one. To begin with, I started by you sketch whatever words or anything you wanna put down there is kind of a traceable thing when you here i just show you how i uh, hand embroider you will need a hand embroidery stabilizer to hold your fabric firm as i had already uh, used it in the center and i embroidered these letters i am now going to demonstrate how i embroider just uh, by finishing off with this with this round line and i am using a curved needle uh, due to the situation with my nails at the moment but uh, if you have a a an embroidery needle with a big eye uh, go ahead and use it and just observe what i'm doing and follow as i show you
Go ahead and finish off your embroidered piece. I've already done this because it does take some time to do. And after I've done that, I use thinking shears to cut around it. I then went with a bonding paper, a tessie bond paper, carrot piece. Big enough to fit your embroidered piece. Oops. And so this is a, a part where there's paper and there's a, a sticky bond on this side. And then you're going to place it facing like this. The, the aim is to get the sticky bond onto this piece, which you are then going to iron onto this fabric. You can stitch it if you want just to, to give it that extra hold. This part should go over here, and then you, you can take your iron and just iron it here. So you can transfer the sticky, sticky part onto the fabric. I hope that makes sense. So I've kind of done two personalized and you need a mod podge and an applicator for it and you need another fabric you can use a paper um but i i fancy using a fabric inside you know on this part of the bible the first part when you open it i also chose this matching fabric My daughter says uh, she really wants this year planner and I've already taken a picture of it. So this one, I'm not going to put a fabric on. I will need a printout of, of this to just put it uh, back here. And now what I'm doing is to center this onto my Bible and after centering it I need to trim the excess fabric um, going to position the the embroidered piece onto my bible you can use your pins to hold it in place Do the same for the diary and what you want to do now is to iron it over this side onto your fabric. Do that on every book that you are embroidering, you're personalizing and okay. And now my daughter has made it clear that hers, she prefers it in the middle. So, yeah. And just make sure it is nicely centered. use my my iron to transfer the fusible bond onto the fabric don't forget to remove your pins 
and you want to place it like this on your ironing board and you iron this part the inside part of the fabric and try to straighten everything just make sure that you have less less parkas inside just make sure it's nice and smooth So the next point is to use my Mod Podge and I've got an applicator and my Mod Podge. Still silver. This Bible, it is so old guys. I've even used the glue gun to kind of keep it in place. I'm using this brown paper, so baking paper to protect everything here. And I'm going to just apply a mud push just right onto the fabric. You want to place it your inside part facing up. And you wanna straighten your fabric, making sure that it doesn't have any creases. And at this point, you want to cut your fabric at the corners of your Bible. This will help you with turning it inside. It will be easy to turn these parts inside here when you have done this. Make sure you have your nice envelope corner. If you have gloves, you can use them to this process just make sure that your fabric is lying flat and it doesn't have uh, any Creases. Get those crispy corners, guys.
and you wanna push the your corners right inside here. Just use anything to press these flaps of the fabric inside, just to hide them. to leave it to dry a bit and move on to the next book yeah it's just a messy project but yeah the results are going to be good Just apply a more push onto your fabric. You can apply it on a book if it's easier for you. Do whatever you find easy. And here yeah, I just make sure everything is lying nice and flat without any creases. Yeah, how it looks like the moment and then I've snapped uh, this kind of pieces here on both sides if your book allows you to put this inside you can but if it doesn't you can just cut them off My Bible allows me to to hide this fabric nicely inside. So here we are with this. 
And as I've mentioned earlier, don't worry about the year planner. It is very helpful and my daughter loves it. But because of what we are doing, we've uh, taken a photo of it. And I will just stick it onto here. Print it out and stick it onto here to finish off this. A year planner, a paper year planner. You could print it out on a fabric if you want. Voila, this is the finished look. Isn't this gorgeous? And now we will use our rotary cutter to cut the fabric that we are going to put inside. Cutting two fabrics at the same time. you have cut your fabric that you're going to line inside you you can use your pinking shears to go around it and uh, trim it to give it that kind of a uh, rough edges which I absolutely love Note how I'm using my pinking shears at this point. After I had trimmed all of it and I laid it down, I decided that I want to leave a bit of edges here um, from the first fabric. So it it is like this when it's finished. But when I get here in the middle, I'm kind of leaving more space so that it covers the white page of the Bible completely because this is the part where it doesn't have this kind of fabric cover and so I think it will give it a nice clean finished look and then follow these dots 
to cut off the excess fiber. I'm just thinking of personalizing it even further, putting my name on inside here and maybe a date. Yay! We have finished covering the books, guys. Um, it really took me such a long time to complete these books, but hey, now, now it is done, it is done, and I'm happy with it. Um, the post book turned out to be so nice. Remember, it is pink, and the pink color has really made the fabric come forth. And in on the inside, I decided to use a paper, and I I trimmed it with those pinking shears to give it this look. It is really really nice. I am so pleased with how it's looking right now. And um, for the Bible um. I've used a, a fabric inside, trimmed it as well, and um, I decided that I'm going to personalize it and uh, give it a kind of a different look. So guys, yeah, I went ahead and I personalized it, and it, uh, don't worry about the marks, um, my daughter was helping me so we made uh, some kind of a mess uh, but hey the bible uh, is so nice we took a marking pen with my daughter and we played around it and we created this really ancient look look on the edges and this is how it turned out as I did go a bit wild with the Mod Podge, guys, it has given it this wet look, guys. I really love it. I um, can't complain at all. It is really, really something I didn't expect. But just be mindful that if you use a, a lot of Mod Podge, it will give you that effect. Just have a look at this. This is really gorgeous. It is beautiful um i've fallen in love with this bible over again and yeah uh, i'm gonna keep it closer to every back uh, when i go to church and dimpo is crazy with her diary as well so now i'm just gonna have to wait and see if she's going to write a bit more in it because she was reluctant guys to do so and I'm quite pleased I am so so happy with this work I love these books I so love these books I cannot take my eyes off them I love this so yeah thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe guys like and subscribe and comment below thank you